Hey guys, this is V here today, and Pam's behind the camera. Hi everybody. And we are the Kindred Vegans. <laughs> so today, um, I, I'm making a raspberry white chocolate pudding. And um, I am going to add chia seeds in it, so it's kind of like a chia pudding, but I'm, the flavor I'm putting in is raspberry and white chocolate. Now, I can't have regular chocolate because uh, it, it kind of um, triggers my migraine. But I've always loved white chocolate. And I found vegan ones, which are hard to find in our area. But this is what I found. It's a Nestle one. And the biggest tip now is that the vegan, you know, they, they start putting that vegan logo. So for a lot of you newbie vegans out there, this vegan logo tells you if it's vegan. But I still go through some of the ingredients. But this, this has nothing. It is vegan. It is actually vegan. So... Uh, that's a good way for you to look out for vegan stuff is that is that vegan logo So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I have about one cup of soy milk I'm gonna put it in the blender now. I'm not melting my white chocolates Because they I know the chocolate chips seem to seize a little bit So I'm just gonna grind up about half in here with everything half of how much did you have? In the I bowl? had half cup and I'm gonna do about uh, a quarter cup. Yeah, and then I'm going to put half of my chia seeds in here. So about two tablespoons. And I'm going to leave the rest. And then I have my raspberries. I'm also going to grind half of it in there. I'm going to leave a few for garnishing. And then I'm just going to put like a, like a touch of vanilla. Or more. And then I have my maple syrup here. I want to add about a quarter cup, so I'm just eyeballing it today. And I'm going to blend all of this up. I, I didn't grind the chia seeds first because I wanted to grind everything together. Here, let me see. Look at the color, it's so pretty. It is. I love raspberry. And you and can smell the raspberries in yeah. here. Yeah, raspberries and white chocolate just yeah. go so well. So here's the pudding. Now, some of the chocolate chips didn't really blend, but that's okay because that'll just give you texture in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rest of the chia seeds in here. So in total, that was a quarter, a quarter cup. cup of chia yeah. seeds. Okay. Now, I just want to taste and see if it's sweet enough. Oh, it's good. <laughs> so, now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put them in containers. And I'm going to let it set. And after it's set, what I'm going to do is come back and show you how I'm going to garnish all of this. So guys, um, this has been setting in the fridge and now the consistency, it's, as you can see, it's pretty thick. It's like a pudding. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a few raspberries in there. I like to make things look pretty. And then I'm going to put some chocolate chips. Let's see. And if I had some mint, I would put that too, but I don't. But here you have it. Um, raspberry chia seed pudding. Raspberry white chocolate chia seed pudding. And guys, you can use this for Valentine's Day too. Now oh, that yeah. I think of it. Yeah. It's, it, the color is pink and, you know, it's, it's good stuff in here. And it's yeah. healthy. So there you have it. Try it out and check us out. If Subscribe down below if you haven't and um try our recipes tell us how you like it and um check over on our facebook and instagram or k vegans everywhere and um i guess that's it <laughs> i don't have anything more to say but um we'll be back with more videos and um on facebook we do our live check-ins and we're doing um veganuary stuff so join us there join join us we want to be part of the vegan community. We want to, you know, let's let's embrace all this together. 
Till then, bye. Bye, bye guys. from the Kindred Kitchen. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>